Hi, Welcome to Taiwan. Thank you. Happy to be back. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure to see you. Yeah. Yeah. To thank you again for meeting us. And oh, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Sitting in the yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. This, this visit's very short, so I'm only here for a couple of days. I see. Just, just to see you. That we sympathize with those people who are seeking democracy and freedom in Hong Kong. You know, Taiwan itself is a democracy, and we treasure what we have over here, and we want to uh, support. Uh, any people, any country uh, who are uh, you know, driving for freedom and democracy. This is a universal value. But we also made it very clear that we are not going to intervene in Hong Kong's internal affairs. Right, to make sure that the hard won uh, democracy here in Taiwan is not affected. And, and Taiwan might change its perspective or, or its, its approach if, if Beijing uses force. But in the future, if uh, the Chinese government uh, use force uh, against Hong Kong, against the protesters, and it becomes a large wave of uh, refugees going out to uh, another country, uh, under that circumstances, uh, certainly I don't hope that uh, it becomes true. But uh, if uh, there's something like that, uh, Taiwan is going to work with the international community to deal with that situation together. There seems to be, there could be a risk, though, that that relationship could could involve Taiwan and and, uh, and the people here understand that the, how the Chinese government treats Hong Kong is going to be the future way of them treating Taiwan. Uh, and uh, what turned out in Hong Kong uh, is not very appe appealing to the Taiwanese people. Passing the Hong Kong uh, Democracy and Human Rights Bill, uh, and they are also quite upset. Uh, if uh, President Tsai uh, is re-elected, uh, we'll continue to uh, maintain our current posture, that we will maintain the status quo across the Taiwan Strait. We'll continue to send out goodwill gestures to China. We want to make sure that the Chinese have uh, no excuse in launching a war against Taiwan. Uh, and uh, the variable, yes, you know, after uh, saying all this, is uh, whether China is going to uh, treat Taiwan in a peaceful way. Work with uh, every aspect of uh, our relations with. Where does that, that threshold begin and end in your mind? So our relations with the Trump administration has been uh, going very well. And in fact, many people describe that uh, our relations with the United States is the best in the last 40 years. Taiwan uh, into unification. Uh, and the people here understand that the how uh, we are assured by very senior level U.S. officials that uh, no matter uh, what kind of negotiations uh, are going on in between uh, Washington, D.C. and Beijing, Taiwan will not be a topic for their negotiation. So we are very comfortable that Taiwan is not going to be upon uh, the negotiation table in between uh, China and the United States.